Hey, it's Al Angelo, bringing you another video of our Econo Spec Miata. We're going to finish up our fuel pressure regulator valve installation. If you remember from the last video, we took out the sanding unit, we modified it with the proper tools and equipment, and now we're going to go ahead and go back together. So there's a bracket that holds the fuel pressure regulator on. If you come back here, I'll show you. And what I've done is I've used the existing hole right here to mount the bracket, okay? And then we're gonna need to drill another hole to finish up. So right here, we're gonna drill another hole And then I'm going to put a bolt through there, and I think I found a bolt. Here we go. Right here. We're going to put that through there. I think that's it. All right. Let me see if I got a 10 millimeter wrench, and I do. So we got Mike back with us. Mike, once you hold that. And then I'll tighten it up from the other side. Okay. And these are just some of the extra nuts and bolts that we had from when we took the interior apart. I'm not having to buy anything new. Okay, now the other one, Mike, let's go to the other one. We're going to tighten it down. You ready? Okay, that one's tight. All right. Okay, so now we got these hoses. All right, so we've got these hoses that we got to put on. It's pretty simple. But what I got to do is this is the feed line and this is the return line. All this is going to happen on the return line. So what I want to do is plug this back in because we're kind of done with that. So we're just going to put this back in. We didn't use the special tool, so we got to line that up like that, and it should snap into place like that. Okay, so that one's there's done, and it's not coming out. All right, so right here there's a rubber boot, and what I need to do is I need to cut a hole in this rubber boot so I can feed the lines through. So I'm going to be back in just a minute. Let me grab a razor blade, and I'll be right back. All right. I got a razor blade. We're gonna cut the boot right here. And that's gonna give me access from the trunk area to the, I think I got it through there, yeah. So, well, I always like to start off with the hard one. This side needs to go here. So this needs to go into the trunk. So, and sometimes, it's a little bit efficient to get this to go through there. Get it to go the other way. Easier to go the other way. I don't know. I usually, I'm going to go where you're at. I try two or three different ways, and sometimes I got to use a pry bar. take this bracket off let's see do you have the ratchet the 10 millimeter ratchet oh try taking this bracket off here yeah. feel it down in there. I don't think the screwdriver is going to be big enough. Need something bigger than that. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. 
and I got a little pry bar screwdriver. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta give me a little bit more room under here. I went ahead and loosened this up. So I'm just gonna take this screwdriver down here, kind of bend this up a little bit like that, okay. And I think that'll give me enough room to weave one of these lines in there. And it, it, it's, it's a little bit of a job, but there we go. Okay, so that one goes there. All right, and then I need this one here also. So I'm going to leave this one in there. There we go. Okay. I got both those there. All right, we got that one on. So one of these needs to go on to here. So this fitting goes on here, like that, and then this one bolts on to here, okay, like that, get my arm out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then we have this piece, so this goes on here, and you know, I'm going to grab a couple wrenches before I do that, so I know what size they are, so let's see, looks like a 16 millimeter, which is the same as a 5 8, so, all right, so this one, going to go on here, oops, don't want to drop that into the valley of death, okay. Okay, got that one there. Oh, they're not going to be the same size. Nope. 11 sixteenths, maybe? Yep, okay. All right, let's tighten this up. Okay. Let's tighten this one up. Like that. This one, gotta try to do it without kinking it. It's going to go on here, plug in there like that. All right, these are gonna go down in there. Should be able to put that back on. Maybe. Now I'll get that bit over there. Like that. We might have to undo the bottom. Yeah, it'll be easier for us to undo the bottom. Alright, let's go into the trunk. Okay. Just loosening up this bracket because I want to get that bracket back on there. Okay. And like I said, it's not it's not a hard job. It's fairly simple and straightforward. It doesn't require a bunch of tools. this bracket and we'll get this bolted back on there I'm undoing this nut back there okay now I think I can put this back on yeah there we go okay all right so we got that all of these good I see this nut goes down here 
Put it down. Just putting the bracket on. I like to get all the bolts started before I tighten in anything. I ran into that trap so many times where nothing wants to bolt on all the way because you tightened it up and then none of the bolt holes line up. So I'm a fond believer of starting them off by hand. Okay, we got that one. Okay, I got that. Now I'm gonna get this nut here on the bottom. If I had a couple of long extensions, I could probably get to this one where Katie's filming from, which would have been a great idea. But you know me, I like to struggle. Up there. There we go. Okay. While I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and put this cover back on. Okay. And then all we got left to do is hook up those two lines on the uh, adjustable regulator valve. And then I think we wrap up this video. Once again, I'm not going to tighten these down all the way until I have them all started. Uh, sure, it's nice running into some of you guys. I mean, not literally running into you, but the racetrack, but coming across you and you guys recognize me from the from the channel, and we get to talking and. You get to watch you drive and you see your cars. It's just a lot of fun going to the racetrack with other Miata people. And we all share this huge interest in these cars. And it seems like all the people in meet are just amazing and fun. And we have a lot of laughs. And I like to see you guys getting faster and faster on the racetrack. I enjoy giving you tips and advice on getting your car set up and driving skills okay so I think okay we got that all right let's go into the trunk finish this up okay so we got these two hoses all right. one of them goes right down here I'm gonna route it so we don't have a million miles of line I'm going to bring it down underneath here. Okay, like that. It's a lot cleaner. So this one goes here. Are we get it? Come on now. There we go. Okay, that one goes there. Okay, this one goes right here. Okay, 
The only other options I do is sometimes I take this off and I thread in a fuel pressure gauge so I can constantly see what fuel pressure is. But when you do that and you no longer have the fuel sample port, unless you convince them that this is it over here, you know, um, the adjustable part is right here. So it has an Allen up top here and a jam nut. So you would loosen up the jam nut, stick an Allen in there, and you could turn it clockwise to increase the fuel pressure or counterclockwise to decrease it. Okay? All right. Okay. Adjustable fuel pressure regulator valve in an NB1. You know how to do it now. All right? Hey, thanks for subscribing. If you like the channel, give it a thumbs up so I know that we're meeting your needs. All right? I'm happy to do them for you. And you know what? I'll see you at the racetrack. Bye now.